making tamale pie. We're gonna eat it tomorrow, but I'm making it today because in my opinion, whenever you cook anything and all of these different flavors need to marry together and, and simmer and, and come in and work with each other, um, it tastes better the second day. So with that in mind, tamale pie. So here's my plan for cooking this tamale pie today. I got two pounds of venison. That's gonna be my meat. Protein, as the cool kids call it now. You know, y'all know, most things on the internet aren't exactly in reality as they're portrayed in the videos, and this is the same. I started the process of cooking that venison in there in the kitchen. I put it in one of my Dutch ovens and I started the process in there while I was getting my coals ready out here. I'm gonna finish the process there. I've got these real pretty little peppers, an onion, some cumin, some garlic, a uh, little bit of chili powder, and uh, put all that in there with some enchilada sauce that I've never tried before. It came in a packet, I'll show it to you. I'm really kind of excited about that. Some black beans, all of it will go in in stages. And uh, this thing's gonna turn out however it turns out. Like everything we do on here, we're learning as we go. First time I've ever made tamale pie, looking forward to it, hoping that tomorrow it's a big hit. We'll see. All right, we get this venison all uh, browned uh, almost completely to where you'd want it, but it's gonna cook just a bit longer. And oh, by the way, if, if uh, I'm using venison just because I have venison, 80 20 uh, beef, chicken. Uh, pork, shredded chicken, shredded pork, any, anything that you want to use. And I'll show you what all I got here. Fire roasted garlic, crushed tomatoes. Here's those peppers. I got some black beans here. Two cans of hatch green chili. I wish that I had somebody I knew who lived in hatch that could give me some chili, oh wait, I know a whole lot of people that live in Hatch. All right, we got everything mixed up in there pretty good. So I added some cumin, I added some garlic, some chili powder, and now, put the top back on, and uh, then we're just gonna let it do ooey gooey melty stuff. All right, I let that all simmer and and uh, get, like I said, ooey and gooey and cheesy. And then nothing fancy, just regular cornbread mix poured over the top. Of it. Been about 12 minutes since I put that cornbread mix on top. So let's take a look. Oh yeah. So you can see right here, there's like a little spot right there where it's trying to burst up through that cornbread mix, I'm gonna close this so it keeps doing what it does. You get all of that medley of uh, tastes and spices and flavors, and now it's just sort of rolling in there. If you noticed, I moved it into the smoking chamber and just turned this into an oven at about 325, 350, and now it's just baking in there. I'm gonna let this cornbread just really bake and get real good and, and cornbready. And then I'm gonna put another layer of cheese right across the top of it. It's gonna be tamale pie season right here any minute. We gave it all the time it needed, that cornbread topping to set up. And then I just wanted to show you, we covered it with another layer of cheese. Now we wait. So part of never having cooked a tamale pie before is gonna be figuring out the easiest way to get it out of this Dutch oven. Yeah, that was worth the wait. Molly pie, we'll have it for tomorrow. 
I really do think it'll be better tomorrow than it is today. Seems like that's the way it usually works out. I did forget to put the enchilada sauce in here, which I think would have made it a little bit better, a whole lot better, a much, much better. But I'm not hating the way it turned out. And I hope everybody else likes it too. Appreciate y'all hanging along. You guys have a great day and keep on smoking.